1957, Celtic signed a player who was, like the fortunate few before him, to become a legend. The slim 17-year-old went on to be the club's most successful captain and as manager brought eight trophies to Parkhead. But it was during the reign of Jock Steen that Billy's career and the club's fortunes flourished. The 1965 Cup final was to be the beginning of the glory years. The man who takes all the Celtic corner kicks, Gallagher. taking the free kick. It's a good one. Oh, oh, Celtic. A deflection. And that makes it Celtic 1, Rangers 0. Murdoch moving into the penalty area. Brogan. Murdoch. That's a goal. We always felt that on a day that uh, we could handle anybody. We weren't we're afraid of nothing. Um, Sometimes it, it created a problem to us, but it was the way we were, and I don't think anything would ever have altered it. At times, probably, we should have killed games, but it wasn't our nature. If, if, we, if we were winning one nothing, we wanted to make it 2 we winning 2 nothing, we wanted to make it 3 and That was just the way the team was, and it was a real... I mean, it was a, a, a superb unit, and very, some very, very skillful and creative players, very exciting players, and a great crowd of lads to play with. There's Lennox. It's a goal. It's a goal by Lennox, straight out of the blue. Celtic 3, Rangers 1, technically on the final whistle. Billy was a rock in the defence. His immense experience and stature allowing Celtic to attack with confidence, knowing they could depend on their captain no matter the opposition. Field clearing. Could be a difficult one. Here's good. A great ball by him. He could also lead by example and often fearlessly rose to head the ball home especially in crucial matches. Billy McNeil coming up for a second shot, he's got Blind goal from Billy McNeil. Like Jimmy Johnston, Billy's greatest moment came in Lisbon when, as captain, he led Celtic to become the first British team to win the European Cup. It was a massive achievement for the club. It's attacking and skillful play, bringing victory over the defensive drudgery of Inter Milan. Straight up. Oh, a great shot and a great save by Sarti. Gill. Murdoch. It's all! Celtic has scored! And the whistle is going and Celtic have won the European Cup. The emotions released at the final whistle are now legendary. Thousands of Celtic fans poured onto the pitch in jubilation. Even as a seasoned leader, Billy was almost overwhelmed by the reaction. I've often regretted the fact that we won it all together. And actual fact, I've spoken to some of the boys about it, and they didn't know where I was. They didn't know that I, Sean and I were away to get the trophy because it was just absolute mayhem. And we Bobby Leonard said to me, I said, I never said to somebody, where's the big man? Where is he? And oh, by the time I get back, I mean the dress room was ramsacked. Anything of any value I had, I don't, I don't mean financial things, but strips and changing the strips, they were all gone. A well done, Billy McNeil. Fantastic moment for Celtic, and how well they deserve it. Everything they've entered this season, they have won. Billy's time as a player ended in 1975, when he played his final game in the Scottish Cup victory over Airdrie. In his career, he had achieved nine championships, seven Scottish Cups, six League Cups and the European Cup. But his pride as a Celt would not let him stay away for long. 
Three years later, he returned as manager. My head would have told me to stay at Aberdeen, which would have been the sensible thing to do. But my heart wouldn't have let me do anything but go back to Celtic Park. Billy's managerial success began when the team won the championship in his first season. In 1981, Celtic again won the league, losing only six matches and leaving Rangers trailing by 12 points in third place. The following season, Rangers under their manager and former captain John Gregg were determined to stop Celtic's domination of the league, but their challenge was to be of no avail. Moyes on the overlap, he's made up a lot of ground. That's a good cross, there's Brink McGarvey! 2-1 to Celtic! Billy's success was due to his knowledge as a player and manager, but the way the team won was just as important as the result. It's a charismatic way of playing. Results are vitally important. At the end of the day, the end often justifies the means because points are important. But I think in Celtic, um, the fans demand the means, and that means has got to be exciting. You've got to provide good, open, exciting play. From I was a kid at Celtic Park, Celtic always played the passing game. That was essential to the club, and it just seemed to be passed down from group of players to group of players, from manager to manager. Despite winning five trophies in five seasons, things were not easy for Billy off the pitch. After disagreeing with the board, he left to seek pastures new. But the McNeil story as Celtic's manager was not yet over. Joy for Celtic manager Billy McNeil. Celtic have won the first domestic honour of the season, the Scottish League Cup. Four years later, the season which celebrated the club's centenary was to be one of the most memorable, not least for the return of Caesar. Graham Souness had, had come along and, and a revolution had been created. But the revolution failed to trouble Celtic as they went on an unstoppable league run. There's a nice dummy, Billy Stark has scored. Tangle of legs, it's sorted out by McCarthy. Here's a chance now for Walker. It's Andy Walker going through and Roberts. No mistake this time. Celtic are in front. Stay. Go offside. That's a great move by Morris. McAvenny with a chance to score. Just before half time, the Rangers defence caught wide open. No woods and goal. And that's a goal. McAvenny. There's McStay looping it across to Rogan on the far side. It's back to Billy Stark. Appeals for handball against Goff, it's still not clear for Rangers. There's Paul McStay. Paul McStay with the opening goal. There's Tommy Burns with the in-swinger. It's in! That season, Celtic beat Rangers three times and drew once. The soonest challenge, along with his big money signings, had been silenced. After the presentation of the championship trophy to the fans at Celtic Park, Billy's sights were set on a remarkable double to celebrate the club's centenary year in style. That was intended for Miller, but it's found Rogan. Good play by Rogan. Equaliser by McAvenny. Frank McAvenny for Celtic. Billy McNeil is the epitome of a great Celt. From his days as the most successful captain of the club, leading them through their greatest period in history, to manager when he revitalised the club and restored its pride.